Hello my schoolers, welcome to my school channel. My name is Alexandra. Right here we'll be tackling English Jam Pass questions for the year 2018. Don't go anywhere, stay with us and we'll be right back. my school channel so in this video clip we'll be attempting question 21 to 40 now beginning with question 21 choose the option nearest in meaning to the underline the meeting was cancelled because of the convocation option a brought up option b called off option c broke off option c faced out the answer to this question is called off because this question says we should look for the nearest in meaning when you cancel a meeting, you announce that that meeting will not take place. When you call off, you're also saying that the, the, the event or the meeting would not happen. So option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 22. Choose the option nearest in meaning to the underlined. Ayadeji is an ardent supporter of education for the child. Option A, cogent. Option B, a passionate. Option C, an ignorant. Option D, an optimistic. Now, the answer to this question is option B. Why? Because ardent means to be very passionate or very enthusiastic about something or someone. So, option B is the correct answer to this question. Question 23. Choose the option nearest in meaning to the underlined. The exhibition was an eye-opener to all. Option A, style. Option B, examination. Option C, dispatch. Option D, display. Now, exhibition is a public display of works of art or of an item of interest or that interests people. So, from this explanation, we see that display is the nearest in meaning to this word on the line. So, option D is the correct answer to this question. Question 24. Choose the option nearest in meaning to the underlined. As a journalist, Bola has always had a nose for stories. Option A, an instinct. Option B, a command. Option C, soft comment. Option D, cynical statement. Now, the answer to this question is an instinct. Now, when you say someone has a nose for something, it could be anything, but in this case, it is a story or stories. It means the person has an instinct or has a natural ability to tell about something or to find something or to recognize something so the answer to this question is an instinct however cynical statements are actions motivated by the desire or a desire for that particular thing involved so option a is the correct answer to this question question 25 choose the option nearest in meaning to the underline one Kuo was on the verge of signing a two-year contract with the club Option A, bring. Option B, submit. Option C, hide. Option D, show. Now, the answer to this question is bring. Do not forget that the, the instruction says we should look for the nearest in meaning. So, verge means to be at the edge of something, to be, to be, to be placed or to be at a point where you are beyond limits. Okay, so that's what it means. So, when you talk about bring, we see bring also has to do with to be at the edge of something. So, option A is the final answer to this question. Do not forget to take practice questions with our simulated jam CBT past questions. All you need to do is click on the link in the description below where it takes you to my school website. There you can download my school mobile app for your Android phones. And then you can also download my school software for your computers and laptops. So go ahead and start downloading and practice these questions. Now going over to question 26, choose the option nearest in meaning to the underlined. The governor told the chief that it was only a routine tour. Option A, normal and regular visit. B, unplanned encounter. C, surprise and impromptu check. D, walking, visit and homage. The answer to this question is option A, normal and regular visit. Why is that? Because we know that routine is something you do regularly. So it's an action or an activity you do regularly. So when you talk about regular um, uh, an action you do regularly, we can see option A contains this, regular visits. The, is it normal? Yes, yeah, at this level it becomes normal because it is what you do regularly. Option A is the correct answer. 
I believe you're enjoying this content. If so, do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button, and tap on the bell notification to get alerted as soon as we release the next videos. Question 27. Choose the option nearest in meaning to the underline. The new ruler is big hearted in is dealing with people. Option A, proud. Option B, cruel. Option C, soft. Option D, generous. The answer to this question is option D, generous. Why? Because big hearted simply means to be kind, to be generous. So option D is the correct answer. Question 28. Choose the option nearest in meaning to the underlined. The essay topic is nebulous. Option A, distinct. Option B, incorrect. Option C, vague. Option D, clear. Now, the word nebulous means to be vague, to, to be unclear. When something is not clear or is not understandable or you can't interpret it well, so we say it is nebulous or it is um, unclear. So the answer to this question we can see is in option C, vague. Vague also means unclear, so when something is not clear. Option C is therefore the correct answer. Question 29. Choose the option that best explains the information conveyed in the sentence. The events of last Friday show that there is no love lost between the principal and the vice principal. Option A, they like each other. Option B, they work independently. Option C, they couldn't part company. Option D, they dislike each other. Now, first and foremost, let's look at the idiomatic expression used in the sentence. That is no love lost. Now, no love lost is used to describe when two people do not like each other. That is, they dislike each other. So we can see from my explanation that this is contained in option D. They dislike each other. Therefore, our option and answer is option D. Question 30. Choose the option that best, best explains the information conveyed in the sentence. If it were here, it could be more fun. Option A, it did not show up and so the occasion lacked much fun. Option B, it was being expected to supply more fun. Option C, there was no fun because it was not present. Option D, it was expected but did not show up to liven up the occasion. Now, first and foremost, this statement or this sentence is an unreal conditional statement. Okay, so let's analyze the statement before we look at the best interpretation for the statement. The first clause, if it were here, means there was, yeah, there was an absence of um, a person or someone. It could be more fun, means that there's a presence of least of fun. Okay, so option A, it did not show up absence of someone, and so the occasion lacked much fun. So we can see that there was little fun. So option A is the best answer to this question. But then let's look at other options. Option B, it was being expected to supply more fun. No, it wasn't being expected to supply more fun. Okay, it's an unreal, it's an unreal conditional statement. Okay, so option C, there was no form, but it was not because it was not present. Fine, it was not present, but there was little form, not no form at all. There was little form. Okay, option D, it was expected, but did not show up to liven up the occasion. No, it wasn't been, it wasn't expected. So option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 31, choose the option that best explains the information conveyed in the sentence. Adao is an imp. Option A, Adao behaves queenly. Option B, Adao behaves differently. Option C, Adao behaves decently. Option D, Adao behaves badly. Now, what's an imp? Imp is uh, used to describe a mischievous child, uh, a child with um, devilish character, and that is bad. We can associate that with a bad character. So. Adao behaves badly is the best interpretation to this sentence. Option D is the correct answer. Question 32. Choose the option that best explains the information conveyed in the sentence. The man reasoned that there ought to be a limit to sycophancy. Option A. There can be no favor beyond a reasonable point. Option B. Sycophants need not talk all the time. Option C. People should know when not to use flattery. Option D, SQL fans should know when to grant people requests. Now, the key word in this question is SQL fancy. What does it mean? It means using flattery to gain favor. So we can see from my explanation, people should know when not to use flattery. Is the correct answer to this question. However, there are some options I term as red flag. That is, questions, um, options you should not consider at all as being the likely answers. We see that option B are 
D are what I call red flags because they contain words or keywords as used in the question. And this question has to do with interpreting words. So it contains exact words that as, as used in the question. So uh, we, you don't consider them as the likely answer. And as you can see, option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 33, choose the option that best explains the information conveyed in the sentence. The organization is constantly in a state of flux. Option A, there are periodic changes in the organization. Option B, the organization is facing a difficult period. Option C, the organization is experiencing good times. Option D, the organization is moribund. Now, the answer to this question is option A, there are periodic changes in the organization. Why is that so? Now, flux is used to describe something that constantly changes. So, a state of flux is the uncertainty about what to do next because of the establishment of a new system or the establishment of a new direction. So, option A is the correct answer to this question. Question 34. Choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. The witness averred that she had seen Dawson at the scene of the crime. Option A, argued. Option B, confirmed. Option C, denied. Option D, affirmed. Now, in this question, we've been told to look for the word opposite in meaning to the word in italics. Now, the word is averred, and it means to establish a fact or to declare a truth. So, we see that the answer is option C, denied. Denied is to disapprove a, a fact or a statement so option C is the correct answer to this question. Question 35. Choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. The governor's visit is an unprecedented event in the history of the social club. Option A, a perfect. Option B, a momentous. Option C, an insignificant. Option D, an unnecessarily. An unnecessary. Now, the answer to this question is an insignificant. Now, don't forget that the, question, the instruction says that we should look for the opposite in meaning. So, the word is unprecedented and it means something that has never been done before. Or So, it means something remarkable, something extraordinary, something unusual. So, the opposite of that is an insignificant thing. Insignificant means something that is not meaningful or not worth consideration or not very much important. So, option C is the correct answer to this question. Do not forget that there are several solution providers readily waiting to answer all of your problems or questions. So you can ask your questions by clicking on the link in the description below. It takes you to my school website. There you can ask your questions and solutions will be provided to them within a short period of time. Now going over to question 36, choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. Our principal took exception to the ignoble role the teacher played in the matter. Option A, embarrassing. Option B, honorable. Option C, extraordinary. Option D, dishonorable. Now, the word is ignoble, and we have been told to look for the opposite in meaning. Ignoble simply means not honorable in character or in actions. So, we see that not honorable, honorable is the word opposite in meaning to ignoble. Option B is the correct answer. Do you have better steps, explanations, or solutions to any of those questions? If so, feel free to use the comment section below. Indicate the question and the solutions you would like to share. Question 37. Choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. It is notorious for its drunkenness. Option A, popular. Option B, known. Option C, well-known. Option D, renowned. Now, the word is notorious and we've been asked to provide the word opposite in meaning to this word. Notorious means to be well-known or famous for some bad qualities. So, renowned here is the answer to this question. And renowned is to be famous for good qualities. It could be an achievement or anything honorable. So, option D is the correct answer to this question. Question 38. Choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. The severity of the Amatan helped me to complete my writing assignment in record times because I had no choice but to lock myself indoors. Option A, warmth. Option B, mildness. Option C, moderation. Option D, leniency. The answer to this question is option B, mildness. And why is that so? Severity means intense in this context. It means intense, very great. 
We see that mildness means something gentle, something that's not severe or intense. Option B, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 39. Choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. The card entitles you to attend the film show. Option A disqualifies. Option B discourages. Option C disenchants. Option D satisfies. Now, the word is entitles. Entitles means qualifies you or permits you to do something. So, we see that the opposite in meaning is disqualifies, which means not qualified or not permitted or not allowed. So, option A, therefore, is the correct answer to this question. Question 40. Choose the option opposite in meaning to the word or phrase in italics. Is love for is or treason? Option A, benevolence. Option B, sincerity. Option C, selfishness. Option D, selflessness. Now, the word in italics is altruism and it means to be selfless. That is, to regard others or put your others' interests first over yours. So, we see that it is synonymous to selflessness. The answer to this question is selfishness because we are looking for the opposite in meaning. Option C, therefore, is the correct answer. I believe you enjoyed this segment and... We've come to the end of it. Do not forget to hit the like button, click on the subscribe button and tap on the bell notification to get informed as soon as we release the next videos.